Hello and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast. Sometimes not knowing how crazy something is, is a good thing. I'm Brendan, here with Luke. Indeed, it is I. And Jonathan. And I am the other one. Uh, ignore the clicking you heard during the intro. I had to unserver mute these fucks. Because they <laughs> wouldn't stop talking when I needed to do the intro. About we've got a lot. Time, um, but anyway, we've got a lot to say. This week, we're talking about Pirates of Silicon Valley. The, what, 99 TV movie? What year is it from? Yeah, 99. 99. Um, Martin Burke directed. Uh, so... I think with, with it in mind that we want to go through the movies more and to make it feel more like actual pick-oriented, um, Luke, why don't you lead the charge since this was your pick? I sort of took the lead on Big Fish because it was my pick. Hmm. Well, that's terrifying. Um, um, you picked the movie. You know, well. I feel like this movie's enjoyable to me. Like, it, it may not be for everyone, but for me... Oh right, we didn't. I thought it was around. fun. You know, that's that's how I feel. I feel like I have fun every time I watch this movie. Okay, I'm glad you remembered to do that because I didn't remember to ask what you guys wanted short and sweet because uh, I fun. forgot how our podcast works. Jonathan, short and sweet. What did you think of the movie? Um, I wouldn't say like anything about the movie was particularly like exceptional, um, but it was informative. And that's cool. Okay. I uh, see already knowing some of this and I, Luke is probably in the same bo boat. It's, it wasn't like super informative. I mean, there was stuff I didn't know, but like I knew the broad strokes already. Um, yeah. So this, this movie was fine. I was actually really bored at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Um, the beginning of the movie is a bit slow for sure. And then, um, I, I guess I, I, can, I can go into one of my major problems with the movie real quick before you start taking charge on talking about the movie. Um, this movie kind of presents itself as the Apple side, like Waz being the lead character. That's not true. Like, mm. Waz is narrating and he's just talking about jobs. Like, the Apple side is strictly about jobs. Well, I mean, that's both sides, so... But um, Alan gets his due a little bit on the Microsoft side. I mean, it, it, it still is to some extent, yes, very much about Bill Gates. But at least Alan gets a little bit of his due. Woz is narrating about Steve Jobs. But I mean, in actual history, Woz was responsible for um, basically their, their, the first product and uh, Apple II, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, one, like yeah, Mac, Mac, Mac was entirely Steve. I wouldn't even say entirely. Mac was Steve's it was thing. Steve's baby, yeah. Yeah, but then um, Waz was, uh, like, he basically birthed the A2. They didn't go into it in this movie, but... I mean, so another... They definitely did. I, I think didn't. another point to that is, like, it doesn't at all talk about the period where Steve Jobs isn't at Apple anymore. Yeah, yeah. It just cuts over that and then has the presentation where he's back. Well, you have to remember the era that this is from. This is from 1999, which is the year Steve Jobs came back to Apple, right? So from that perspective, it ended like at a perfect point for where the movie ends, which is kind of exactly where it actually, like, you know, this Microsoft ends uh, up buying. He returns to Apple in uh, 97. <clears throat> but yeah, the movie had to get made. Uh, this you is know? a TV movie. I guarantee it did not take two years. I guarantee you it took at least a year. Maybe a year. Yeah. It did not take but, two years. Away. But my whole thing is, well, then you have to factor in writing and everything. <laughs> I bet it did take two years from, like, pre-production to actually... We'll say, end. like, one thing that I want to get out there is uh, I despised Bill Gates' acting in this. Not, like, the real Bill Gates. Really? I, really? I love Anthony Michael. I, I, yeah, I thought he was great in that. I hated his voice. Like, it was but that's, that's how Bill Gates talks. Have you ever heard Bill Gates? He really does sound like that. But, like, everybody kind of, like, sounded like they were putting on, like, a nerdy voice. And I'm like, okay, like... Anthony Michael Hall is doing a Bill Gates impression. He's not just doing a nerdy voice. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I've heard Bill Gates talk. I and beyond that, like, like Steve Jobs is not putting on a nerdy voice. I don't feel like uh, 
No, but Waz is. Joey Slot is putting in like he he just normally sounds like that. I've seen a few other things with him in it. Yeah, my Noah Wild. It just it just bothered me. It just bothered me. Just the voice, like everything else was fine. Yeah, just I don't I don't know. Gates has a very reedy voice. Okay, maybe I just don't know Gates enough. I'll give him the pass <laughs> this time. <laughs> yeah, I thought Anthony Michael Hall was great in this. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought he was. Bill Gates probably... has also said it's a reasonably accurate um, portrayal of him around that time. I also, yeah. uh, I don't know how true this is, but if he said that, then never mind. I thought that it was very, like, apple-sided. Like, they made him out to be, like, an absolute disgusting slob. Ooh. And I was like, Bill Ooh. Gates. I think it no. makes both of them suck in this movie. <laughs> yeah, that's well, no, no, the it does. Thing. It does make both of them suck, which I do appreciate. But, like, I don't know. I, it kind of made uh, Steve suck less. Really? I thought it made Steve suck more. <laughs> I, really? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. the worst thing Bill Gates does is, like, uh, IP theft, right? And this is during the time where, like, IP didn't exist, really. Like, but yeah. what exactly IP theft does he do in this movie? I mean, uh, he steals the OS and, like, re rewrites no, it. No, he doesn't windows. steal it. He's, he bought it for $50,000. Well, he works at Apple and takes their OS and writes his OS Oh, oh no no! That's listen. He I don't think he stole anything from it because if you, all right, for example, no Mac no he definitely is, steals it. Hold on, but Mac is they're completely different. In fact, the for, well in a lot of ways, the original Mac OS is completely different than uh than DOS. Like DOS runs over. Or sorry, not DOS, but um, Windows 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 are all literally just a GUI cover for DOS. Like it's basically pretending. And then how it works is no, no, but they uh, they they rip the style and the elements. Oh yeah, absolutely rip the style, one hundred percent. I I see where you're coming like the from. style and all the elements, like completely took the look of it. Yeah, but you you they couldn't sue even if even if. Uh, IP thefts were strong, or IP theft was like more strong at the time. It's not like they could sue because Xerox did it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So Apple was just kind of fucked because Apple essentially stole. You know, they all stole from each other essentially yeah. back yeah. then. I mean, that's I literally why the movie is called Pirates of Silicon Valley because yeah. of those scenes. I did not know though that. Um, um what was I about to say? I didn't know that uh, Apple and uh, Microsoft worked together. Like, I didn't know that Bill Gates bought like Microsoft's OS. I didn't know that. So that was something I learned. Oh yeah, they worked. Uh, well, what's funny is that actually happened where Bill Gates like went up on stage. I've seen the yeah. the 1985 like conference, and people hated it. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. the people in the audience were so upset. No, no, no. People didn't in 1985. That one, people were like, yeah, "Oh, give it a run no, for sorry, I'm talking for... about the." I, yeah. I, I thought that that was like a classic, like well-known, well-received commercial. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I was talking about the 97 one. I didn't realize you're talking about the 85 one. Yeah, in the 97 one, people legit thought that Bill Gates was the devil because like, who were like Mac fans. Yeah, yeah, because that conference was at a Mac like conference. It was all about Mac, and so Bill Gates comes up on screen, and people are just like, what and the it, fuck? I know they didn't say it, but Steve Jobs literally walks up on stage, and he goes, Microsoft has purchased 20% of Apple. Mm. <laughs> like, ooh, that people were <laughs> fucking pissed. Yeah. Oh, another point to this being a Steve Jobs movie. The fucking subplot with his girlfriend and his kid was so unnecessary to the movie. I mean, it's just to show you how much of a dick. But you, look, defi you definitely would not have liked the other Steve Jobs movie. No, no, no. I, That's this, literally it, all it's about. Jobs is head. apologetic from what I've seen of it. Like downright like. In the uh, other movie? Yeah, yeah. In the Ashton Kutcher one. Yeah. Uh, from, from what I've seen of it, they like. No, I don't think you saw the Ashton Kutcher one. Uh, I did. I mean, that are, there, one, are there three? Yeah, there are three. Oh my god! Then never mind. So, I saw the one where they like he was like an ass. You saw the one with the guy from uh, 
what's it called? And that even then, he's not an asshole. He's seen as like a visionary who doesn't have time for his family. No, and he then... definitely is just like he. Uh, what's the word? Basically, he's like, like, like with the naming it Lisa. He like tells the kid to its to its her face. He's like. I, he, he like made up some acronym. He's like, this stands for this. And it's like, it's was it crazy. Ashton Kutcher or was it Michael Fassbender? Maybe it was Mike, Michael Fassbender. Hell yeah, Michael Fassbender is Steve Jobs. Jobs yeah. is Ashton Kutcher, where I think they're overly apologetic and sort of yeah. make him this uh, this like tortured visionary that nobody understood. And it's like, well, yeah. he was kind of an asshole to a lot of yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, and not only that, I, I think this one does the best of, uh, describing who they were earlier because not only is it they were both alive um well was both... uh was said of this movie that like even if the portrayals aren't like 100 percent accurate they captured all of the like emotion and thinking of those people at those times yeah yeah i did like how um they fleshed out their younger lives like before they were yeah. doing anything of importance really well because i didn't know that steve jobs was a. Uh, like seventies influence, like hippie sort of culture. I didn't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, his just, whole life he was like that. I mean, that's why he that's died. Cool he didn't get treatment for his cancer. Yeah, he didn't have like easily like they were like, oh no problem, it's an easily done surgery. We just need to remove it. And then he didn't get it done for like three years because he was like, that would be against my religious values. And then when he got really fucking sick, he was like, oh fuck, I'm gonna die if I don't get this done. And then he got it done. But it was too late by that point. So I think he had pancreatic right. cancer. Was that what it was? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good old pancreatic cancer, which is like the worst one. That's a I, common one, isn't it? I don't know if I agree that pancreatic cancer is the worst one. Well, there's like once it spreads. I mean, I guess they're all like that once they spread to a certain point. Yeah. But like I would I mean, take pancreatic cancer over like brain cancer. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know though, because then, like, at some point, the the brain cancer, it's like you're not really feeling it any, because like you're not oh, that's, really there. That's that's not true, man. We're I getting mean, morbid. We're getting okay, morbid. okay, but yeah, if I had cancer, my goal would be to get rid of the cancer. Where yeah, brain I mean, cancer, it's time. brain cancer, it's difficult and it has consequences. Best cancer, best See, my cancer. if I had cancer, my 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 goal would be to die uh, in the least amount of pain. Really? Because I would just like you just give up cancer. the second you have cancer. Like, because it mean, would be it easily. It depends. I assume we're talking about bad cancer. If we're talking about like stage one, it like it doesn't really matter what it is. Yeah, it doesn't I matter. I, where I guess, it I, is guess I take. One. I guess I take a fucking skin cancer, but it doesn't really yeah. matter at that point. Skin cancer is pretty easily like dealt yeah. with if you see it early enough. I think the problem is uh, the thing with Steve Jobs is it was like fucking stage five. You know, <laughs> like was... yeah, he left it forever. Yeah, that was his problem. Is that he knew about it and he was like, "It's fine. I will eat my herbs." Yeah, and spices, but um, he went, he, he, the he, reason uh, why Colonel Sanders was his doctor. I love him. Oh, and and, and again, the the reason why no, he wouldn't eat chicken. He only ate fruit. Was, I don't know if they they talked about it in this movie. They they, uh, brought they had a they had a throwaway line that it was like yeah. Mm, he literally eat? only ate fruit. And just another side note, not related to this movie again. Ashton Kutcher did that diet and got pancreatitis, uh, pancreatitis, and had to stop. Wow. Because so his vegetarian diet his, is fucking stupid. His <laughs> diet was bad for his pancreas while he had pancreatic cancer. No, no, no. But like his, probably yeah, actually. Well, because uh, if if Ashton Kutcher got pancreatitis, I would assume that. Yeah, it probably caused it. It probably inflamed his pancreas and then caused the cancer later in life. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, back to the movie. Um, yeah, I like the beginning areas a little bit. I I think the very beginning was kind of like overdone when they're talking about the blue box and stuff well i think it's important i don't think it needed to be like this long thing yeah yes, i mean i also like i didn't care about again the girlfriend subplot like i think it's important to understand how much of a dick steve jobs is i think plenty of other scenes time. in the movie really highlight how much of a dick steve jobs is yeah i mean it's it's a cringy scene the one where he uh where he's interviewing like some data analyst or uh oh and he asked main, him if he's a main, virgin mainframe developer yeah and ask him if he's a virgin and the dude just like doesn't know how to react yeah and the actor they got for that is fucking incredible because you felt so fucking bad for this dude you're like 
Ugh. Yeah. Like he's what? And you just like, oh fuck. Like I don't know exactly what uh you would look up for like the interviewee, I don't know, maybe they have a name for him, but uh I felt like it was an amazing Oh, there it is. Doug Cox job applicant. Mm. I got to look this guy up because he's a fucking he did a great job. Oh, he was in Carrie. That's interesting. And a lot of Pee Wee uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. He was a writer for it. Cool. Oh, you know who was fucking unrecognizable in this movie? Like every time he would pop up, he'd be like, I, Bender. I, I know. Yeah. Fucking John DiMaggio. <laughs> I would be like, I, I know who this is, but I like cannot place him. I guess it's because he doesn't have the facial hair, which I always see John DiMaggio with. He um, never, he doesn't have facial hair and. And he's bald. Yeah, and he's bald. Yeah, like I, he just kept popping up and I was like, it looks so fucking familiar, but who is it? And uh, once I looked at the I was like, oh shit. I'll and it's the same you. voice, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, oh, oh. Um, the magic. Yeah, I thought the, the cast did a, a good job with this movie. I just wish there was more Waz. That, that was what I wanted. Really? I like Waz. But I feel like I, I Waz wish, I wish, I wish is it was too. It, Waz is too good to like have a story. That's fair. He just often doesn't get his due. Yeah, I definitely in agree. the in the one jobs that I saw, it was very Waz like not focused, but they did give him like the oh, credit good. for the Apple II. Like they, it was basically. I don't know why I get into that movie, yeah. but well, uh, I mean, but yeah, no, I did credit for Apple One, like entirely the entire thing is him, like, right? He's that's just what... trying to sell it. I, I wish yeah, that this I movie, I wish this this movie dove more into that. I don't know if that's what you were saying. Yeah, I just want more was in general, because like he he's directly responsible for Apple's early success. Like without him, it doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah, not to mention, uh, and they didn't mention this um, in the movie, which I felt was a kind of a mistake, is Steve Jobs used to work in Atari, and everyone hated him. Yeah, everyone hated him everywhere because he was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, But, like, he apparently, like, he smelled like shit. Everyone was like, take a fucking bath. So they literally put him, like, on a team alone, and he basically was like, hey, Steve, can you make Breakout for me? And Steve, like, designed Breakout, the arcade cabinet in game breakout yeah but uh they should have brought that up too but anyway um and he smells like shit <laughs> yeah i mean they definitely did because he's just a hippie but uh you know what no, I'm, I, that was a question of they should bring that up no no the the where he worked at atari is atari a hippie company yeah oh okay it was definitely a hippie company when it first came out, and it was like a party, like college, uh, company. They specifically targeted like college students to work there, um, and like hippie. So yeah, I suppose. But yeah, um, going from there, you know, I, I felt like their treatment of the Mac was pretty good. Um, to that end, Jonathan. They actually were working on uh, a comp like basically Steve Wozniak had his own project that was a Mac competitor internally that never came out. That was supposed to be this like big open source device that had like twelve different uh, ports and all of them had way more bandwidth and it was more like, like again. You guys, would, you guys would really like the other movie. <laughs> I've seen the other movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I don't like the movie with Michael Fassbender because the entire movie essentially takes place behind, um, like right uh, before like, he's released. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it's to me, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, I like this movie because a lot of the interactions are done really well. Like I, I love like. Um, the one guy who's like, it's too fucking tired. I don't have time to defend a design. And you really can, like, see it. Because you hear, like, oh, he's a, he's an asshole when, like, people are, like, trying to work. He'll just, like, shit on them for no reason. But to, like, actually see him shit on it and, like, shit on multiple people the way he does in this movie. I guarantee you the actor who played Steve Jobs. Um, no, while I guarantee you. He had fun with this. Like, a lot of fucking fun playing this guy. Yeah. 
And you can tell, like, he had fun. Bill Gates had fun. John DiMaggio had fun. Like, you can tell the people who had fun making this movie. But, uh, no, I mean, to back to your earlier thing, uh, Brennan, I feel like Balmer talked about Gates and Wozniak talked about jobs. And it was more just like, that's fair, about... I guess. I, I wasn't really thinking about Balmer. I was more thinking about Allen. Paul Allen, I feel like he was like there, but it wasn't like he was, you know. I mean, they show him getting them the OS. Uh, he at least has input sometimes. Like, I don't know. I just felt like Woz he just gets like pushed aside, which I mean, he does kind of get steamrolled in real life. Yeah. But Paul Allen um is the guy from Intel over like his parody is the guy from Intel who like invested in Apple early. Uh, I don't remember his name, but I've seen him in a lot of stuff, so I know he's he went on to have like a good career. What's his name? Ed Robert no. I'm trying to look. Mike Marcula, maybe? That might be it. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Nordling. I feel like in his role here, he was uh definitely played like Paul Allen. He was the one who was like, hey man, you really you really hurt that guy's feelings when like they had the whole interview scene. Um but yeah. Anyone got anything else to say? You're checked out already on this movie you suggested? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know. I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just talking. Well, Not you, a lot of again, this is, this is your pick. You're supposed to be leading us through. All right. Well, I mean, I just, I love the end <laughs> scene. The, the <laughs> like, last I'm confrontation not... of Oh, yeah, Jobs it was great. Because the whole time Bill Gates is, like, getting bullied by Steve Jobs. And you see this end where... You know, they show like the 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 bad guy, uh, Big Brother, mm -hmm. and the guy in the background is kind of like eyeing him, Big Brother, and then Bill Gates to Steve Jobs, and Jobs is like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, the end. The end scene's good. I, I I liked the back half of this movie. Just the the first first bit's very slow. Yeah, and I mean, I, I feel like as soon as Bill Gates and Steve Jobs first meet for the first time, this movie starts, like, actually, like, picking up big time. Because yeah. before that, like, their individual stories, I feel like Bill Gates' individual story, like, starting out is more interesting. Uh, because most people have already heard, like, yeah, we started in our garage. Like, they all know the story, yeah. you know, of uh, of Apple beginning. But, like... Yeah. The beginning of Microsoft, you know, they didn't just like, boom, we're big now. You know, it took them years of kind of like, what can we do? Like, it's very much true how he goes like, you know, how you, you know, how you survive. You have to become needed. You have to know, you have to make them know that you're needed. Oh, well, more of like, you know how you survive. You have to become needed. Actually, it's more like, you know how you survive. He's Listen, Bill Gates sounds like Kermit the Frog. Does he? Yes, he, he does. He absolutely does. Like a nerdier Kermit the Frog. All right. Like, do I have to search, like, Bill Gates' interview? <laughs> I'll take your word for it, but the 2000... entire time I was watching, all I was thinking is, like, God, this dude sounds so lame. Like, why is he putting on this voice? That... All right, I, you I mean, won't I be able to hear it. this, but this is literally why, like why not do this after the, this is like the worst podcasting. Done. For those who want to know, go to YouTube and type in 1991 interview with Bill Gates and skip to about 20 seconds in. Bill Gates, he sounds like a normal guy to me. That really, way, really. That sounds, All right, here I, I mean, will, I'll just like, play it like, on podcast. It's not like the deepest voice ever, but like I mean, like it sounds way more normal than the voice that the actor was putting on. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like over affected, but I mean, impressions are hard. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. 
I will give him that. <clears throat> I don't know. I I, 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 I like the cast in this. They all did good. I agree. I think they all did good except one person. Who's that? Um, I don't know. I just said that. Um, Miss Wozniak. She looked off. Just didn't bring her again. No, I, I don't. <laughs> um, no, I thought everyone and that, like. I feel like the guy who ran, uh, what was the Altair? Yeah. Like, he was just comical, like, I don't know what you did, boys, but we got 16 other offers. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know. I just felt like it all came together pretty well. That's all I got to say. I felt like it captured, you know, the characters exactly like you said the the feelings and i don't feel like a lot of it was that inaccurate i feel like a lot of people they wish that more was inaccurate if they happen to be like a fan of you know yeah i mean by by the accounts of the people it's pretty accurate it's not like a hundred percent accurate but it's pretty accurate the thing is because this was made in 99 i don't think you can make this movie now because i think there'll be too much of a backlash about like steve jobs like he wasn't that bad of a guy yeah probably he was a good person because he's dead um and i think it's important to know like the growth of steve jobs you know as a as a human even though like he was a bastard like in the 70s 80s and 90s i feel like once he started working with pixar he started calming the fuck down. But, uh, yeah. And I love the music in this movie. I feel like... Yeah, the soundtrack's good. Like, you have some really good 80s music. Some really good 70s music in the beginning. (laughs) Then some really good 80s music. uh, And you even have, uh, like, Frant Sinatra in here, my way. Although, just for a brief second, and then you have, like, a performance by someone else. They only do, like, the actual Frank Sinatra thing for, like, 10 seconds. Well, of course. The guy doesn't like it. He doesn't want to hear Sinatra. Tells you that. Bill Gates does. (laughs) And that's true. Bill Gates does love Frank Sinatra. I mean, everybody loves Frank Sinatra. Except for, apparently, Paul Allen. Well, yeah, but he's wrong. Paul Allen's a fucking idiot. (laughs) And also, I feel like John DiMaggio's uh, rendition of Steam Ballmer is, like, fucking perfect. Like, you know how, like, he's, like, over the top, like, Come on, Steve! It's perfect. Like, that's exactly how he is. Like, Yeah, again, John, like, people have praised, like, the people of this movie have praised the renditions. Like, Jonathan, have you ever seen Developers, 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 Developers? Yeah. You need to give it a shot. You need... Okay. <laughs> it's good. But yeah, I don't have much more to say on this movie. If anyone has anything else to add, go ahead. Uh, no, I think I'm good. All right. Um, no, I don't have too much to add. Well, Sounds like the history you, was more... You got something to add, thing. go ahead and add it. No. Seems like you're adding stuff right now. No. I don't know what you're talking about. You I didn't just... like the scene where Steve Jobs was getting high on uh, LSD. What did I say that? You did. You didn't want to add to it, so. Yeah, no, no, that is not what I was going to say. So. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was just going to say more of what I didn't know, and then I was like, "Yeah, whatever. Who cares?" <laughs> well, but, if you didn't know, now you, you know. know. Now and you know. if you don't know, now you know. It's Mike's super short show. All right, so do you want to do ratings? Sure, sure. I'll go. I'll go last. Okay, Jonathan. Um, I mean, I'll give it like a six. To me, the plot wasn't super interesting because I knew sort of what was going to happen. So it was more of just like a history lesson, and it was an interesting one, but not like one that I super cared about. I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm between a five and a six. Um, and I think I'm gonna go five. The the start's boring, and even though the cast is doing a good job, like, I will never watch this movie again. 
Fair enough, fair enough. And I like this movie. I'll give it a seven. I enjoy it. This has an average score of six. It's on the lower end. Something think, interesting, we always, we always talk about who does the worst picks. I think well, I think you do the, the boring picks. The picks me? where I, yeah, where I'm just like not gripped by the movie. Really? Yeah. I don't know. But he Your does have the best rating, like perfect. doesn't he? Overall. He's, <laughs> he's like the best high. rating because he gave his movie a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really it? Is that the only reason? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's only the best by you, a you third like, of a point. You didn't like Mononoke? Mononoke was fine. I don't know that I'll ever watch it again. Unless I want to watch the English dub. I mean, see, I feel like you need to give your uh, ratings more of like a, like I do. Like if I don't, if I find a movie boring, then I'll... I'll well, okay, so Mononoke as wasn't, as well. Mononoke wasn't boring. Um, mm -hmm. Mononoke was a boring pick in that I would have watched Mononoke anyway. Like, Handmaiden oh, was the most okay. interesting pick to so, me because it's a movie I wouldn't have watched and I enjoyed it. Okay, so what do you think of Pirates of the Silicon Valley, 1999? Uh, I could have lived without watching movie. it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, in that case, you're talking about a different kind of boring. Because I yeah, yeah, I'm not saying they're boring in all the same ways. I'm yeah, just saying... I think all I'm saying is picking a 1999 made-for-TV movie it's like a boring pick. regardless of the content of the movie snowpiercer was a boring pick for jonathan mm. yeah. would you consider it bored like you you were bored by a job didn't he explicitly watching think it, he was bored yeah, watch, yeah. that's why I got a, that's why i got a boards because i was so bored watching you're fucking it. crazy you're wild i was gonna say i'm pretty sure he explicitly said he was bored in the in the episode yeah. you know what i think is a boring pick what's that the, the most boring pick out of all of them he's gonna Tenet. Tenet. It was Tenet for sure. Yeah. And it was pretty boring. Followed by Lost in Translation. It, followed... it looked nice. Yeah, Lost in Translation was a bum pick. But I I'm think Lost in Translation have... is the most boring pick. Hold on. But, followed... but I'm glad to have picked it because it's something that I wanted to see for a really long time. So it's nice to just kind of have that checked off. Yeah. It, it was a shame it sucked, but, but But those are, those are boring. You think Moonlight was Wait, a yeah, boring what the fuck? pick? That was my, that's like my third most boring movie. Wow. Interesting. I don't yeah. how could you give it it what did you give it? You gave it and like a probably nine. probably after that Big Fish. Didn't you so give that, that a be... nine? Interesting. No. I give it a seven. Are you saying Big Fish is a boring movie or is a boring pick because you'd already seen it? No, I'm not saying that they're I'm saying these are my like least boring to most boring. And uh, it starts bo boring movie or boring it, pick? Like just no, no no no. Boring movie. Really? Like tenant. Very, very, very boring for me. I couldn't well, like, yeah. guess. Followed by what did I say? Uh, uh, Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation, which I just felt was fucking like a lot of just sitting around. Yeah. Then I would say Moonlight. Yeah, after that, I'm not saying it's like a bad movie, but it was just slower paced. It was more quote boring. I gave it the least, the smallest score <laughs> out of everyone here. It's not. It's yeah. not and actually, Mouse Hunt is not near boring. It's more nor towards offensive for me. Right. I mean, that's why I, figured, that's why I figured Mouse Hunt wasn't on your list because it wasn't boring. It was just bad. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah. So when I was saying your movies were boring, I, or I guess I should rephrase. I didn't mean your movies were boring. I meant they were boring picks. Hmm. I, would, I, I just don't think that's true of Pirates of Silicon Valley or uh, The Handmaid. No, no, the handmaid I said is your least boring pick. But that so, would only be, you know, how many have I done? Like four, four now, I think. Your name, yeah. handmaiden, one and okay, pirates. So, yeah. I didn't think pirates was uh, a boring pick. I just thought that it uh, because it's history based and yeah, pirates flips. Pirates a boring movie. <laughs> we we all know sort of like the main Fair things enough. that happened. But I it's think like I think pirate. your name was a safe boring pick, and I think. Really, because I, I I just needed an excuse to watch it again. You would, that's <laughs> like, that's yeah. That's I mean that's what I mean. I love it. Like I fucking love that. And then Mononoke was only boring in the way of like, I, it didn't add anything to the podcast for me because I like I would have watched this movie. Again. It well, wasn't we me got a chance being to watch brought it to an experience and watch a good movie yeah. instead of Mouse Hunt. Uh, I stand by Mouse Hunt. <laughs> It's so not. You know what, Brennan? <laughs> Consider this a a revenge for Mouse Hunt. <laughs> um, that's fine. I mean, this is this is pretty 
poor revenge because like i think this is one of your uh this is your third least ranked movie. that's true it is yeah and then rated jonathan, rated low for different reasons jonathan this is actually like middle of the road for jonathan because he's rated <laughs> a couple movies poorly that's actually why for our I, I, I can talk about this now. Um, at the end of the year, we're going to do an awards episode where we have some categories that we're going to go through and nominate some picks and come up with official winners uh, for categories. Uh, best Supporting Actor, Best Supporting Actress, Best Actor, Best Actress, Most Likely to Rewatch, Least Likely to Rewatch, Movies You Felt You Were Too Harsh or Not Harsh Enough On, Soundtrack, Production, Visuals, Best Pick, Worst Pick, Best Movie from 2013, Best Writing. The reason I put in the movie you felt you were too harsh or not harsh enough on is because... Going through my scores, I was like, two of these movies need to be lower. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm looking at mine and I'm like, because eh, because Jonathan made a good I've point. Because given... I what? Jonathan made a good point. Um, that five is like a middle of the road, inoffensive movie, and I I think my my scale is rated a little too upward. Or maybe it's like, maybe my scale just has a weird curve right now where the bottom numbers are really stretched out and the top numbers are closer together. <clears throat> um, Tenant and Lost in Translation should be lower. I don't think they're that really? close. Really? I don't think they're that close to average. Really? Well, I'm, I'm seeing right now we're not allowed to go back. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying. That's, that's why I put in the category to be like, it'll just give us a minute to be like, I regret this. I wish I had put it. A different way. Yeah. Looking at mine, I mean, there's not much I think I would change. <clears throat> I think I gave a pretty good breath. And also, like, none of these movies have been, like, it's not, it's not like any of these movies other than Mouse Hunt have really made me go, like, well, fuck, this is bad. Like, yeah, Tenet, Tenet uh, was just like, oh, this is like the definition of mediocrity to me. See, that, that's the thing is, like, so I have fours for Tenet and Lost in Tradition. I don't think they're that close to mediocrity for me. I think they're not good. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty happy with my scores. I think it's weird that I'm so curved high. I, we're all curved high because I think we're picking good movies, which is a yeah. problem. Yeah. Like because I look at my score. Hey, high. I'm not. I'm not picking good movies. I'm picking good and bad movies. Well, so I mean, I'm when when have you problem. when have you picked a bad movie? Edit lost in translation. The ones Tenet, that you guys always on. meet. Let, let me let me look up what the average score on like IMDb of Tenet is. Um, I'm rolling the dice with my next picks though. Okay. Hold on, Tenet has a seven point four. That's because it's Nolan. People are fucking on his dick. Hold on, but it's still mm -hmm. a seven point four. Like if okay. you saw that, you'd be like, okay. But uh, I I knew nothing about Tenet. Lost in translation is like a cult classic to people. Not yeah. to people, not necessarily to us. Yeah. But if I look, that's why this I chose up, it. That's why I chose it. Again, I had no 7. idea. But I actually, no idea I, I tried to pick movies that I thought would generate interesting discussion. Like I didn't think both of you would like Coherence. I didn't think both of you would like Big Fish. Oh, that's specifically why I chose. <laughs> I knew both of you Valley. wouldn't like Mouse <laughs> <laughs> I remember as a child not liking that movie. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. But, uh, Pirates of the Silicon Valley, like that's part of the reason why I picked it because I was like, I like this because I like like history type shit. Yeah. But yeah, big old fish. I'm interested to see. So I don't know if you guys do. I have running score or not scores. I have running um, category rankings right now where I'm just bumping stuff off as. We watch new movies and they take the places. Nah, I'm just gonna go through like a week or two before. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare because, like, I, I feel like that that will be maybe 52 movies. It's not that big a deal. <clears throat> yeah, but I, I, I feel like it'll possibly be inaccurate because, like, you might misremember how good or bad a performance is based on the amount of maybe. Time but it's that been. that will be how I remember, and that's how I'm gonna put it down. I I'm guess. gonna do it like Jonathan says he's gonna do it. I'm not I, I suppose, but like, I mean, I guess I have it in my head. Yeah. For a couple of for a couple of the standout ones, and if another standout one goes, like, mm. I will say right head. now, it's it's hard to do because 
uh, you end up with a small. lot of the same movies in categories and that just well right me. right now i'm literally basically i don't have like my entire like i i don't have three for each like i have one in mind for best um supporting actor and then like i have one in mind for the well you, best gotta, you gotta nominate more than one you gotta give us i know but but nothing has stood out yet. really interesting so i'm going i'm going to wait until another standout performance for me i wonder for who your which, best which supporting category? actor is I'm, I'm i wonder if i'm gonna hate your pick for best supporting actor i don't think you would is it bill Nye? no would your winner be right We'll find out when we do 40 more movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I mean, I'm just even trying to guess. Why'd you, why'd you choose Bill Nye? Because he was great. He was the best part of that movie. What do you mean? I mean, like... I, I, it's just like, I don't know. What did I rate that movie? You gave it an 8. I'm a big fish. No, oh, no, Bill no. Nighy from About Time. Yeah. He's good. I don't I don't think he's the best out of everybody. Bill Nighy is absolutely the best part of that movie. What are you talking about? Of that he, movie. That's what you said when we were talking about that movie. Yeah. But I don't think he's like enough to like yes, he's the best supporting actor in all the movies we've seen right now. Wait, what? Then wait wait, what? <laughs> I, I wasn't saying he, he's my winner. I was just guessing who I thought Jonathan might pick. He is I think that's a good, good guess. Absolutely. I, I, if he's not one of your three nominations based on the 12 movies we've watched. He would be in the three nominations, but I have yeah. one in mind that I thought is was Is it better. Albert Finney? No. Who the fuck Wait, is your I, best I know who it is. If it's Robert Pattinson, I'm going to punch you. No. Okay. Why are you trying to guess it? <laughs> Because I want to know how much I hate you. <laughs> anyway, I think this episode's done. Is it? Is it Maury Chicken? What? Anyway, this episode's done. Uh -huh. uh, we have to start another episode. Um, yeah. That will come out before this one. So, you've yeah. it's already there. You've been <laughs> mute. Um, Jonathan's pick is next week. Jonathan, do you have a pick in mind? Uh, maybe Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I really like that movie. Another 2013 movie. Boring pick. Movie you've already seen. It's a good movie. This movie I've also already <laughs> Just seen. kidding. <laughs> I don't care. I've never seen. So there you have that. It has that going. I on. think it's there's a chance you will not like this movie. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. So possibly Secret Life of Walter Mitty. You'll know when it gets uploaded if that is what happens. Um. Thanks for listening. Woo! See you next time. Goodbye. Woo! Woo! Woo!